What's going on, folks? Um, what you got to understand is frame of reference. There is no other. There is no other you. And because you are you, you feel like um, that is common to see these characteristics of people or it's common to do the things that you do or or react the way that you react. But, but to be totally honest, it's uncommon. And that's what kind of messed people up with you real tough is they are used to doing things a certain kind of way. They've always done them that way. Their mama did it that way. Their grandma did it that way. But when they try to apply those principles to you, they realize that you were uncommon. You are uncommon people. And the mold was broke when it came to you. And people going to be real stuck. They're going to be real stuck because they just knew. They just felt like they had you paid. They felt like, oh man, it's gonna be easy. This gonna be a breeze. It's gonna be a breeze to ruin this person. It's gonna be a breeze. But when they really got their forces together and tried to go in, they realized it's not. It's not a breeze. Not only is it not a breeze, but it's gonna be very difficult because the person you're trying to attack is not of this world. We're in this world, but not of this world. The downloads that we get, the messages that we get, the things that we can see, the things, it's been times where I could just look at a person and know the whole story. I can see the whole energy outline just at a glance. Just boom, okay. I know exactly who you are. A lot of people think they have that gift, but they really have a gift of familiarity. There's a difference between intuition and familiarity. Familiarity would say, I've seen these traits before, so I'm going to apply this to the same person. Intuition says, although I've seen these traits, I know I can't apply to the same person. I got to use my senses to sense what is what and to be able to sort and divide who is who. They just thought this play was going to be the grand, magnificent play. They thought it was going to be a grand, magnificent, highly orchestrated play. And when the rubber met the road, and they did their same things, they was met with resistance. But it wasn't, for you, it wasn't resistance. For you, it was just, uh, I thought this is how we were going to progress through this friendship or through this work relationship or through this romantic relationship. Or this is how I would normally progress. But to them, it felt like resistance because it's nothing that they've ever seen. And if you've ever had an experience that you've never seen before, it sticks with you. It sticks with you. I remember the first time I went to Chicago. I remember the first time I went to Miami. I remember the first time I went to California. I remember the first time I went to Vegas. I remember the first, because before that I had no, I had no frame of reference for those places. It's the same with you. They're never gonna be. They're never gonna be able to forget. And it intensified when they tried to attack. See, if I just go to Las Vegas to visit. That's one thing. But if I go there to plan an attack and it doesn't work, that's another thing. We're dealing with a place I've never been before. And we're dealing with defeat. That's what they're dealing with. They're dealing with bumping up against somebody that they never bumped up against before and being defeated. Hit that like button.